Hey everybody, I'm Delight from DenverWhimsyCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make an epic yarn ball with all of your yarn scraps. So when you're done, you're going to have something that looks like this. It's amazing. So I decided to make a yarn ball like this before I started crocheting because I wanted something more portable because I like to go out for coffee with friends and bring my crochet with me. You know you do the same thing when you're super into a project. So uh, I have this big tub full of all of my scrap yarns, but I'm not really going to want to bring this with me when I go out and about. So it's a lot easier to get my scrap yarn all into a ball and then to go out and about and work on the project. So it's also super fun because by the time you make this gigantic ball, you don't remember what's inside of the ball. So as you're crocheting, it's like a surprise with every stitch. So last night, I started making this prototype for a scrap yarn pillow. And I was up until like past midnight last night making this because it was so much fun to like see what colors were in there and see how much of each color I had put in there. And it was just super motivating. So it's like a, a super fun way to do it. And by the way, I don't have the pattern for this done yet as of today, but when I get the pattern for the scrap yarn pillow done, I will put the link down below this video. So let's talk about how to make the scrap yarn ball. Uh, you're gonna take two, well, for this particular pattern, you're going to take two strands of yarn at once that are two different colors. So that's how I like to make scrap yarn stuff is because you've used up tons of scrap yarn and it looks really cool to do double strands. So here's another example. Here's a double stranded uh, beanie pattern and this pattern is done. So it will be down below this video for you if you would like to check it out. Um, so it just looks really fun. You've got lots of different colors in here. It's really unique. You'll never see anything else like it. I couldn't even recreate it if I wanted to. So I'm gonna be making my yarn ball the same way with two strands at once. So I'm gonna take my two strands in my left hand, my non-dominant hand, and I'm gonna hold on with my little fingers right here. I'm gonna hold on to this tail because this is where I'm gonna pull from the center and I do not wanna lose this in my yarn ball. And then I'm gonna take my working end here, my long end, and I'm going to do a figure eight around my thumb and my forefinger. And I think my intention here is to do this like 16 times, but I don't really count. I just go until I kind of have a big chunk here. And stuff gets all tangled up because it's scrap yarn. <laughs> so that's just a typical way that this happens. So I'm winding, winding, winding. And you can see here, I don't have very much of this mint green left, which I'm actually kind of sad about because I really like this color. But the point is to use up your scraps, right? So I probably should not go out and buy some new mint green immediately just to have more scraps of mint green. Uh, okay, so I've got this big chunk here. I don't know if I did 16 times, but close enough. So now I'm going to carefully slide it off of my two fingers, and I'm going to keep this end free and then I'm, I don't know what I do I just kind of bunch it up like fold it in half like this so you've got like a big bunch and just make sure you keep this end free so you have this to pull from the middle later because it's going to make your crocheting much easier and then you're going to just wrap around and like I said it gets a little tricky because it gets tangled up you're going to wrap around one way and this is definitely tricky because I don't want to set this down maybe I can I don't really want to set this down yet because it might come undone and get tangled up but I have this tangle on this side <laughs> I only have one hand to undo it so that's how it goes you know the scrap yarn project stuff gets tangled okay I'm setting it down and seeing if I can untangle my minty green here this is real life, everybody. Tangled up yarn. And even like sometimes when I get yarn tangled up, I just want to cut it off and throw it away because how much does this cost really? Like two cents. <laughs> but uh, this is the principle of things. So now, because I had to set this down and untangle, this thing kind of exploded. I guess this is going to show you what not to do <laughs> in making a scrap yarn ball. All right. So... I'm just gonna mash it down to get back together because I think it'll be fine. Uh, and I'm gonna keep going around. And then I'm gonna kind of change my angle. 
and go this way to like keep all those little yarn guts in there. But every time I change, I'm making sure that I keep this working end out. Don't wrap it up again. Don't wrap it up in there because this is what you want to use when you start making your project. Okay, so I got all of the minty green wrapped up around here. So now I'm going to add on another color. So I've just switched to whichever color I feel like having and uh, maybe I'll pick something that I think will look good with this blue and or just the next thing that's on the top of my pile here which is this bright yellow uh, and so I'm just gonna do this and so now I'm going to use what's called a magic knot to tie this on and I have a different video of this where I, I show you a lot closer up exactly how I do this um, so you can check that out Actually, I should put a link below this video if you want to see up close how to do the magic knot. Because uh, you can just do a regular square knot, but I think the magic knot just holds really, really well. The magic knot, you're kind of doing two knots and, and sliding them together, and it holds really, really well. I think it holds better than a square knot. But if you don't want to deal with that, if you think square knots are good, so you have two knots and then you slide them together like that. And then you pull them super tight and they're, it's a really small knot so you can keep crocheting past it, which I really like. And then you can cut off where my scissors got buried under my projects here and just cut it off really close to the knot so that it's easy to keep working with it right past the color change. Okay, so that's the magic knot. And like I said, if you need, if you want to see how to do that, I have another video that shows you much closer and a little bit slower and more detail. So my scrap yarn ball is looking, it's still exploding out a little bit from when I had to set it down. So I'm just going to go around like this to try to get it all a little bit neater. But it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. That's the good news. And now my yellow is all tangled. There we go. Okay, so then you just keep going like this. Uh, now I've done quite a bit with this blue now, so I think I'm gonna switch the blue. So this is something I just wanted to mention. If you're making a scrap yarn ball to make a beanie like this, you're gonna wanna switch out the colors fairly often because in a smaller project like this, if you if I keep going for, for a long time with a blue, I'm gonna have like half of my beanie with blue and you know it'll have green and yellow, but I like to put lots of different colors into a beanie, so I'll switch the, the colors out pretty often. In something bigger, like this pillow, you could do more and more wraps of each color before you switch them, because it's not going to be so overwhelming to the whole project. Like, I do have lots of this army green in here, but it's not like, it's not all you see when you look at the pillow. So it's totally up to you though. If you don't like to make the knots as often and switch the colors as often, that's fine. Or if like for this mint green, I just wanted to use up that little bit of, that little bit of piece that I had left. So just go until you use up a piece and then switch, you know, however you want to do it. That's what's really fun about it. Um, so I usually do just change one color at a time. I, I find I like how that looks, but sometimes I'll, I'll run out of two colors and I'll change them both too. So I think I'm about ready to change my blue over. So I'll just show you that one more time here. I'm going to change my blue. So I have this really bright yellow. So I don't want to use this really bright red. That's going to be super overwhelming. I think I might use, actually, I might use this gray right here for a little bit. Oh, boy, this is, but it's all tangled up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big tangle. Okay, let me see if I can easily use this gray just for the sake of this video. Here we go. Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to use a little bit of gray along with the yellow once I tie this on. So again, I'm doing the magic knot. And I'm making two. Two knots here, kind of reverse of each other. I'm pulling them together, pulling them super tight. I'm 
cutting out these little ends. And then I'll just keep rolling. And I don't know how much I'm doing. I'm not really measuring or being exact at all. So if I ended up making a, a yarn ball that wasn't big enough to finish my project, beanie, pillow, whatever it is I'm making, I would just make another one. No big deal, just keep on going. It doesn't have to be perfect. So then I just keep on winding. Now I'm going to be having the gray and the yellow together. So that's what it's gonna be looking like when I crochet it and it's gonna be super fun. So that is how to make an awesome scrap yarn ball that's so much fun to make, so much fun to use, and so much fun to crochet with, and use up, I have used up a lot of my scrap yarn, which is awesome because it's almost springtime pretty soon, just over a month away, I think, and so I will be able to actually use up some of my yarn and do, and do a little stash buster here with this project. So if you would like to check out the pattern for the pillow or the beanie, check for the links below. Like I said, the pillow is not quite ready as of me making this video today, but it will be eventually, so the link will be below. Also, if you'd like to sign up for my newsletter, you'll get all of the info when I do put out that pillow um, pattern, and you'll get all of my free crochet tutorials and all of my patterns as well. So that link down below, that link is below too. So enjoy your scrap yarn projects and your fun scrap yarn balls and I will see you back here next time. Bye.